So I, mean, I think the bottom line and what the book concludes with is we're, we're going to, you know, cost-benefit analysis just don't get it because cost-benefit analysis at first is done at one point in time and it took almost 50 years to get Mr. Go built. <clears throat> and secondly, it doesn't answer the question, benefits to who and cost to who, okay? It, they're not randomly distributed. A few people made quite a bit of money when Mr. Go first opened. A lot of people lost a lot, of, including their lives, uh, when it failed. Finally, I think what we have here is a book that describes how man, how people in South Louisiana and the federal government messed with the environment, messed with Southeast Louisiana, messed with the coastline, messed with the marshes to the east, and made us so much more vulnerable, much more vulnerable than we ever would have been had the Mississippi River Gulf Outlet never have been there. It was pretty much obsolete by the time it was completed. It wasn't large enough to facilitate the kind of ships that they needed to move in and out of that area of the port. They could bring fairly decent container ships in, but the number of container ships hardly justified the amount of money that the government spent to dredge the Mississippi River Gulf outlet. This is an environmental nightmare. It wasn't, it wasn't big enough for a shipping channel and it was built through a marsh environment that kept continually collapsing into it, had to be redredged again, which let more salt water in, which killed off more plants, which let more of it collapse into the canal, which meant it had to be redredged again. <clears throat> and the Corps basically was averaging about $15 million a year to dredge it. Mr. Go was created to the benefit of businesses. It was all about uh, economics. No consideration was given to the damage that would be done on the environment. And at the end of the day, August 29, 2005, the biggest losers were the citizens of Southeast Louisiana who'd lost everything they'd ever had. But the spirit was that there was work to be done, and we were in paralysis. We could not move intellectually. And so they came and they joined us and together this evolved. New Orleans was protected throughout much of its land, life because it was embedded in these huge wetlands that slowed the storm surge as it came across. And Mr. Go just effectively killed this stuff off. But now they're building a, a barrier across the very thing they said didn't matter.